Hello and welcome to another update video about Dot. Dot is coming down today. Uh, funny enough, well, funny or not funny, probably less funny, but um, a lot of coins are currently selling off. Bitcoin is holding quite steady, which is really, really interesting. Alts are bleeding today again. Um, Dot's structure, however, hasn't changed. As long as we are holding above the April, no, the 1st of May low, which was formed down here at around $6.05, the immediate breakout wave count and scenario as highlighted here in yellow, it has a chance. It has a chance, but it cannot unfold as this if we get a break below that $6.5 level. So that is the invalidation point. And you can see that also we are still moving below this descending trend line in this descending broadening wedge and also in this sideways range. So we have two patterns at play here not elite wave patterns, but let's say more traditional patterns, this sideways range or triangle pattern. Some people might call it a bear flag pennant um, as highlighted, you know, by these purple lines. I can make them a little bit more, a little bit more obvious here, thicker. And we've got this descending trend line here, which is coming down. The market is sort of yeah, moving between them. There will be a decision soon um, <clears throat> at the moment. Dot keeps all options on the table as already highlighted in the last video. The current decline as per Elliott Wave is seen as a corrective pullback, a counter trend move after we had a five wave move up into the recent highs in March where the price topped around $11.90. So at the moment it's all about, okay, do we get one more low or not? I personally find one more low very likely still, as I said before, until I get at the very least at the very least, a break above the April high, not the not the early, no, it's the May high actually. Um, at the very le least, a break above 750. There isn't really anything I can work with in terms of um, directly bullish scenario. No, no, nothing for me, no breadcrumbs I could work with. Um, so I need some upside structure here really. Of course, the potential is there. I've highlighted it as an alternative that the low is really in already, but then that would only be possible as a diagonal. And really there isn't even a series of higher highs and higher lows yet. So that is a bit of a hopium count. Yeah. At the moment, one more low probably would be best because then we can get this done. Another scare off, you know, um, scaring some of the weekends out of the market. Again, you know, obviously, can I promise that we're turning around here? No, it's the $4.60 level that distinguishes for me between bullish and bearish momentum. I've said it all, that all along below 460. There isn't really anything clearly bullish I can I can work with. The chart is overall quite clear. OK, so it's either holding 460 or not. At least we have very clear parameters. But so far, and that's what I can promise you, I haven't got any evidence that a low is in, even though the potential is, of course, there. Um, looking at the yellow count, again, it would only be possible as a diagonal, but the um, wave count in yellow here is now on very, very thin ice, obviously, very thin ice because we're getting close to the invalidation point, which is the May low. Yeah. And if we are in the white count, then I see two micro pathways that the market could take or two pathways the market could take on the um, micro level. One is that this fifth wave is just a simple ABC structure and we're now in the C wave down and could then just target here 560 to 540 and that's it and then attempt to turn around there. Or the wave four is actually unfolding as a triangle which is why I sketched this um, here, the purple trend lines. But obviously I need a few more waves, okay, and another series of higher lows and lower highs to really favor the triangle because I've, you know, in this cycle specifically, I haven't really seen many triangles that essentially worked out. Yeah, so the situation overall hasn't changed. We have to be more patient. Uh, literally until we get a break here anywhere, this could just go on for, for a few more days or actually to end of May or something. I hope not. And also because we are now, obviously the market is forced to make a decision with these trend lines here. I hope we get uh, some action next week. That's my update about Dot. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, 
then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.